After high school, I had no clue what I wanted to do with myself. So my mother insisted that I needed to study something. But for her, she wanted me to be a plumber, a electrician, get, get, a, get a trade. And that's something I knew that I did not want to do. Columbia College, where I attended, had open admissions, and that was very encouraging for me to apply to the school. So I actually looked up in the yellow pages at a phone booth, a public phone booth, uh, their address, and I, and I went the same day, and I talked to an advisor, and I actually wanted to do film. I wanted, I wanted to make movies in my mind. But it was discouraging because there was writing involved in my mind, thinking that I had to write scripts and all that. So I, I, I expressed that to the advisor, and she said, well then study photography. I had no clue what photography was. I didn't know a darkroom existed. I wanted to know how is it possible that out of a 35 millimeter cartridge, you can make big pictures. So once I learned that I was able to actually hold time, I was blown away. And a article was published in the New York Times and in their Lens blog. And once my neighborhood found out that I was published, and by neighborhood I mean my friends, you know, in the hood, were like, wow, Daniel Ramos is an artist. And once I got that accredited in my mind, I started describing myself as an artist. And that was a huge thing because I started thinking of myself like one.